Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a kitting down of uh, one, two, three, four, five diamond paintings here. Um, these are actually all rounds. I figured you guys are probably sick of seeing all the special shape diamond painting kitting downs, although I have way more special shape ones to kit down also, but hey, I figured five rounds, that's plenty, right, to kit down. Um, so I do kit down my rounds in a photo box system here. Um, my rounds and my squares are in um, separate boxes, mainly because I have a lot. I I have three boxes for rounds right now and six boxes for squares. So separating them out made it easier to kit down because now I'm not taking out nine boxes. I'm only taking out three for rounds and six for squares. And plus I do shade match my colors. So if there's more than one shade, I'm hoping I'm going to find an example. The first one, yeah, see this one, they're both three, five, six. And do you see how different that looks? That's like completely different colors there. So I do shade match my um, di um, drills. And in case you're like, what am I doing? If you're new to diamond painting, you're like, what are you doing, Joan? Um, this it is not a necessary step for diamond painting, but I find it necessary for myself because I keep all my drills, my leftover drills, at least the ones that have a code. And um, I just realized this when um, from comments because I'm actually getting viewers that are new to diamond painting and they're like, what in the world are you doing, Joan? Um, so maybe I should start doing some explaining before I just like get into the meat of it. Um, so a lot of diamond paintings, um, they will come with, it, usually they come with first like a number one, two, three, four, five, and then they come with the symbol and then they come with this, this other number. And this other number is the DMC code and this is like a color coding chart I think made primarily for like thread um, that they use like in cross stitch and diamond painting uses the same coding system for their colors um, and theoretically or theoretically but they should match each other but I have found the longer I have diamond painting that they don't always match each other and it's probably because you make plastic it's a different shade it's like if you go buy go to a store and buy the same shade of paint it might, might not always match the next time you get it so same thing happens with plastic, and I keep all my drills because I don't know. Um, there have been times where, like this week, my mom dropped her drills. <laughs> and then she was like, um, I got home and she's like, oh, I dropped this one. Um, and I just threw it away because she knows I keep all my drills. And guess what? I didn't have any. Because <laughs> it was a round and I'm like, I only have three boxes of rounds. Maybe it was a square and I would have had it. But what I ended up doing is since the RDMC numbers, there are a lot of conversion um, websites, the conversion charts on, on like websites that you'd be like, oh, I want to find a replacement for 3607. Um, and then they could find the closest DMC and they usually give you like a list of like four or five that might be close and I went to look at them. And then I was like, ooh, this one actually matches really well to the one that fell down. So now, um, so I was able to do that too. So because I'm also one, I want to finish a diamond painting. I don't want to have to buy something. I already have it here with me. Um, and two, I just can't throw them away. Like after I was finished diamond painting, I, I, I hoarded a whole bunch of things that I finished. And then I found people actually keep them. And I was like, ooh, I like that. So yeah. Long explanation there, so let me get to it. Um, so like, yeah, I said it's in a photo box. I did make a card for each color here. Um, this is just a blank playing card that I bought on Amazon. The things will be linked below. Um, I also made um, I also made labels with the color in there, and I also have those templates for the labels are linked below too. And I have a baggie for each color and for each shade of that color. And I've also been asked, where'd you get your bags? And most of my bags are dim drill, um, bags from diamond paintings. The more I diamond paint, more and more diamond painting companies come in the baggies and then I keep them all. Um, although recently I have bought this thicker four mil bag because it was on sale. And I actually do plan to, at least for my rounds for now, transfer things to the thicker bag. Um, I'm not going to do it to my squares. I'm going to see how I like it on my rounds first since I have way more squares. So, yes. So you'll be seeing me doing lots of really unnecessary things. <laughs> um, 
but that's because I want it I want it this way so I'm just and I'm hitting down a lot of the time because this is how I kit down I just do a lot um, <laughs> And I'm kidding down because my mom has gotten into diamond painting and she diamond paints a lot also so I kit down hers at the same time and most of the time you really won't be kidding down this many at a time. Um, so, so yeah. And then I have multiple trays in here because sometimes it's easier to pour in them from the trays and let's get on with this because how much can I really talk? So 150 seems to be the first one I see here. Um, and I'm going to just put, I have so many that I'm just going to put a pen in there because so then I don't lose my spot. Um, so 150, I have like two shades in there and I have, it does match this second one. And since I am planning to transfer everything to, um, to these thicker bags, I'm just going to do it as I kit down instead of um, doing like a whole like separate thing where I um, a whole separate thing where I kit them down um, change everything to the bag now I'm just going to do it as I go along my label kind of peeled apart here so I'm just gonna cut it off a little bit and I do have like more templates for labels and I put one on my bag and then one on the box but I only made one per per DMC so if I do have more than one shade it'll just go into um it will go into a separate bag and, and then I'm also the longer I've been diamond painting the more I've been mixing similar shades because they do look different but then they start looking the same um yeah i don't know if i'm making sense um but the, sometimes there are very drastically different um colors and and at first i look at it and i'm like okay it's slightly off but then now i'm on the if it's close enough i'm gonna mix them um so those i found that they were close enough so i'm gonna mix them and and, and so the reason i'm switching to these thicker bags is they do stand up um, pretty thin in these containers. Um, my older bags I are much thinner and I've been having to put a piece of paper in there so that it stays up but yet it's n these ones will stay up by itself um, with this four mil bag which I'll link below if I remember. <laughs> so yeah this is a long exposition I usually just get on with it but I've been getting um, questions from newer diamond painters that um, I keep forgetting, you know, I, I keep forgetting that sometimes I could get someone new and then I just confuse them because I kind of assume you guys already know what I'm doing. Um, does that make sense? So this one, I'm not going to transfer. Maybe I should just transfer it so they're all, they're all equal. But yeah, I'm going to transfer. This might take up two bags. Um, but yeah, I'm going to transfer to the thicker bag to see how I like it um for the rounds at least and then evaluate if i want to buy more thicker bags or keep using my um bags that i get from diamond paintings um i'm leaning towards just doing my rounds this way and then just leaving my squares with my um with you know my bags that i get from diamond paintings this way so one i could differentiate them and two i don't know it seems like a lot of work to change out my bags um, as I go along. And I don't think these um, thicker bags are a little bit smaller than what my big bags could hold. So I, yeah, see, I just transferred that bag and now I'm probably going to need bag number two for this. So I think this might be it for this bag. Actually, it's not that bad. Um, I was able to fit it. So I don't know if I like that weird pinching thing there. <laughs> Maybe I'm just... So, I have two stickers here because this was how I used to write my stickers and then this is when I started getting fancy. So, um, I'm probably gonna need another bag for 154 but I'm, I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna do this effort to switch it over, I'll just do it eventually. 
So this one is 155 in here. So I do have two shades. They do look pretty different. Oh, this has some green in there. Um, yeah, let me see if I could just pull it out. Um, I think this is one of the ones that my mom did, does, and sometimes she does kind of splash her other colors into another one. Maybe I shouldn't care so much that there's a green, there's a couple greens in here. Um, and then sometimes the drills have like multiple colors in, um, from like the, the adjacent color there. Um, yep, it looks like this one here. And this one looks like a different shade. And let's just transfer it now. I don't know if I'll end up transferring all my extra shades in or just do it when I get a mix, a match. We will see how the longer this, <laughs> this video goes on. Um, yeah, see, that looks like a different shade. I'm not sure. Oh, you know, I need to move you forward yeah, this way. All the action is happening down here. Um, I don't know if you could tell that these are um, two different shades and then I'm just going to round, write out a label here. Um, not everybody has a different bag for different shades. Um, some people will just mix them in together. I'm not at that point so I'm doing it my, the way I want to do it. Um, so 169 is my next one. So maybe I'll just take off the labels after I finish the row. There. So 169. So let's go move this into the thicker bag. Yeah, no, that looks like a different shade. So. And let's see, this is 169 here. And let's go transfer this while I'm feeling like doing the transfer into this other bag. So, oh, I do notice my, my other label doesn't seem to like these newer bags as much. Um, perhaps it's made of a different type of plastic. So I might have to reprint my labels and then use a different label paper um, and or I've moved my label one too many times. Sometimes labels only have an X amount of re-sticks before it doesn't want to stick anymore. Um, so yeah, these are different shades. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera. I could kind of, it looks different on camera on my, because I, I, when I record, I actually cast my um, what's being recorded onto a screen near me so um, I could see what I could see what I'm recording and then so so 211 that looks like a different shade um, so far the matching has not been going well for this video. So it just goes to show that there is way too many differences in shades. I'm just going to put this in a tray. I think it might be easier than doing the bag to bag um, transfer. But it just goes to show how many different variations in shade there are for the same color. Yeah, no, those look different. Um, so, 211. There. So, next one looks like 300. So, 300. So yeah, this might be this might be a long video, if especially if I start going around transferring. Yeah, that looks really different. That's like, yeah, mahogany, very dark. They're both brown, but this one is more 
light color. This one is like a darker, like this is more of a reddish brown. Um, and the other one is like a more of a brown, but that's okay. I have actually two labels for this one. So this must have been one of my very first um, diamond painting colors here. So this could very well just have been from one diamond painting um, that I did like in 2020 and there's been a differences in how 300 has been made or there's just a massive difference in shades, like I said. <laughs> And that's why some people will just mix them all together, but I can see the difference in there. Um, but when I've been, but on the ones that aren't that, oops, I put away the bag over here. Where's my label? Wait, where did I put the bag? Did I accidentally throw away the label? I just put my bag down here. Am I, am I crazy? Am I crazy? Oh, nope. Okay, somehow I lost the label <laughs> that said 300. I don't know how I did that. Okay, so, yep. I guess I'm just writing this out. <laughs> Yep, I have no idea what happened to the label. Oh well. So, I'll probably like find it on the floor like later on, but that's okay. So, next color, let's see. So, that's off 301 here. Ooh, wait. I just realized I'm th I didn't do 300 over here. So this one also has 301, so I'm gonna do the 301 first. Um, I actually attempted to, to kit this down the last time I did rounds, but then I, for whatever reason, didn't see it even though it's in front of me. It's remarkable how blind you are of things right in front of you. So these are both 301. Um, they actually do match pretty well, so... Um, and... I actually think they match the what's in the the baggie correctly too. So these will go all together. And let's put let's put this into a tray for easier pouring. Well, maybe I lied about the easier pouring. <laughs> I do actually have my humidifier on right now because I, I mean, I've been getting a lot more static, so I'm hoping putting it on will lessen my static. Anytime I, I work with the drills, like pouring and stuff like that, I, I have my humidifier on. So let me do this one that's number 300 that I skipped over. So I do have two shades of them. Um, in fact, I really don't think they match each other at all. You know what I'm thinking? My mom might have mixed two shades of brown in here and that's why they don't match because there's another shade of brown in there that looks um, pretty, pretty darn like what's in there, but, you know, I think if it were going to choose, I don't like it, none of them look like a good option to me, so, no, it's this one. I think I think sometimes having the thicker bag will make it harder to see the difference in shade um, just because of how cloudy a thicker bag is yeah no that's I was actually thinking it was that I need I need to just go with my gut feeling my first in, um, thing instead of like second guessing myself so that I don't <laughs> take so long um, 
So, or you know, I have had diamond paintings have like the same color, um, and it being two shades in the container, um, when you get them. So, okay, these stickers are not my removable stickers. This is one of my older diamond paintings that um, my sister had done, like months maybe even a year ago and she just gave me back the drill she's like oh do you want these <laughs> I'm like okay sure and I gave her my one of my containers that I don't really use that often it's this medicine um, container here so this one is 304 So I have two shades of them and they're very drastically different, but it matches this one. So yeah, drastically different, but at least I know this shade has been at least more than once. Okay, that actually poured okay. Oh wait, there's still one more. Okay. And while I'm doing this, I do have a thousand of these bags. So even if all of my, my rounds, I had two bags for it, I'd still have some left over because there's only, um, 445 colors, I think. Yeah. 445 DMC colors or 447. I see, I see both numbers. Um, but yeah, no, that's not coming off. So that's not a removable label. So 304. I have plenty of labels. Like every time I have so much diamond painting storage um, that if that a lot of times storage comes with labels. Um, so I have lots of labels. 307. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take, I don't know if you saw that there was trays back here. Yeah, it's, it's getting full. It's getting full. I might just take the trays out. Um, because 307. Yeah, this looks pretty full. Um, so I might just start a new bag here. I probably could squeeze it in there. Um, but I'm going to have to start a bag eventually. So, and I already had the sticker. So why not? Um, so, so many drills, what to do with them. Okay, so next is the probably the most popular color in a diamond painting. Um, it's at least the most pop, that's the uh, color that I have the most leftovers of. So that's why I'm going to call it the most popular one. Um, so 310, which is black. And it's in that one, it's in this one. And I like pouring the different ones into different trays in case there is like a drastic um, shade difference. Usually in 310s, I can't tell um, because, yeah, it's black. Um, three, like blacks, like you could kind of tell the difference between like um, resin blacks and acrylic blacks. And if you're new to diamond painting, you're like, what are you talking about? Um, diamond painting drills are, tend to be made of either resin or acrylic, um, and resin drills tend to be a little bit more expensive, and acrylic drills tend to be cheaper, and, but I've noticed that, um, resin drills tend to be a little bit shinier, and you can sometimes notice the difference in the blacks, um, but I have, but it's very subtle. Um, but if you want to see how many blacks I have, I have this many bags and I'm just going to keep them in these bags. There's just so many, I'm not transferring them. And these are my more, a little bit bigger bags. So they're, yeah, they're just going to stay in the bigger bags. So 315. Yeah. The next one in this is 601. I still haven't even touched that. That the first one is 355. So 315. 
Yeah, no, I'm, I have a little bit. I, I hope I'm not going to have to go to a fourth bag. Okay, I think that that's a good match. Um, so let's go pour this into there. Yeah. Let's see. The bag to bag pour. Yeah, no, that's. See if I can take these labels off. Yeah, sometimes there's only so many re-sticks to the labels. So, so 3.15 there. So 3.18 looks like the next one. I Yeah, so many drills. Ooh, these are two different shades. I can see the difference, but they're very subtle difference. I think I need more light. Okay, I can see the difference. It matches this first one here. So let's put it in there. Let's see how much of this I can pour. Um, into here. The problem with the baggies sometimes is there is actually static, static. Okay, that's why I have my humidifier on high right now next to me. Um, so, oh, all there. So, so three one eight. That's pretty full. And the bag wasn't that full, but I feel like I could probably put more if I really was determined. And let's go put this into another baggie here. I think I'm, yeah, I think this might be like a two hour long video. Or at some point, I'm going to just be too lazy to transfer the ones that, um, the other shades that I didn't touch. Um, and I'll be like, eh, I'll do that next time. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like my my kidding downs and kidding ups have just gotten longer, just because I am diamond painting. I, I'm not I'm not necessarily diamond painting more, but with my mom diamond painting too, it's just made. And she is diamond painting right now more than I am diamond painting. It's made um, me just have way more kidding ups and downs I need to do. So. Yeah, my videos have just gotten longer because I could make the same length videos as I did before, but then I will never get through my stash of kidding ups and downs. It would just be perpetually going. So 321 looks like it's the next one. So 321. So it looks like there's only a little bit left here. Um... And there's some here, and those are the same. And you know what? I'm already using my bigger bag in here, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. Um, I have like a slightly bigger bag that I pretty much use for my three tens and things like that, and that one's already in there, so I'm just gonna leave it in there and not bother transferring it. Nope. I use double-sided tape to um, add to put the um, adhesive on to the here, and I have noticed um, the tape likes my containers a little bit more than the canvas, but it's usually relatively easy to peel off. So if you are kidding up, you can use just double-sided tape um, to put your things on. So this one is a three-three-four. Three, three, four, baby blue medium. Yep. There's a couple greens in here too. Yeah, my mom's a little bit of a messier diamond painter than I am. 
like how my mom has been diamond painting is she just actually puts all the colors in trays all around her um and she's because she's like it's too much effort to to put it back into the trays uh, um into the containers so i think she does get sometimes a little bit of splashing between colors so there is a little bit more of a mess but Diamond paint what works for you, and that's what's working for my mom right now. So three, three, four. Oh wait, I real there's another bag baggie of three, three, four. Yeah, it's a different shade. Um, and for now, eh, now let's just transfer it. I can see the difference. Those look pretty different to me. Three, three, four. Three, three, four. Okay, 340 looks like it's my next one. 340. So purple. I already see static in the bag, so during my transfer. Um, it actually looks like a different color, so until I put it in the bag and I'll be like, oh, it's good enough of a match. Yeah, I think it's good enough of a match. I'm, 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 I'm being a little bit less um, picky about my color matching. The longer I diamond paint, the more and more drills I end up having. So if they're a close enough match, I've just been mixing them. Now if they're like insanely different shade I can't mix them and I don't know what my definition of insane is gonna be yet but um, yeah no it's it's a very subtle difference in shade so I think I'm okay with mixing them there was actually a lot of static in that baggie there so yeah it's a subtle enough difference that I'm happy enough oops to mix them I need my label So yeah, I used to be like, they're just slightly off, I need to put them in a different bag. And now I'm like, I have so many bags, I have so many drills, I think I'm okay with a little bit, uh, just a tiny, tiny variation. Ooh, I think I'm actually finally getting a color from here. So 355. So... I actually think that's a pretty good match, so... Yeah, no, the, this bag I'm, I'm pouring from is really thin. And there. So, 355. And then, finally, like I said, finally got one from there. So, if I can take it off, it can take it off. It's not one of my removable labels. My older, my older diamond paintings, I didn't use removable labels. Um, oh, I didn't use removable labels when I printed out the legend. So, yeah, there's a little bit of extra gunk on that thing. Ooh, this one's 402. So let's find 402. Oh, it looks like. I have three shades, and I don't know if you could tell on camera how different those shades are, so let's hope this actually matches something. It matches this one, so at least I have a match. Because, yeah, no, they're, they're different. So. 
and this is 402. And I think with this, should I transfer into, let's go transfer while I'm, like I said, while I'm still willing to do it. Let's transfer. While I feel like doing it. Yeah. And yeah, if you're a new diamond painter, you don't have to do this. Um, but if you like organizing things, um, I, I highly enjoy doing this. I don't know why I like doing it, but I do. So, <laughs> And I know there are a lot of us at, that actually enjoys doing the di um, organization part of diamond painting. So um, so yeah, I think this if this wasn't part of diamond painting, I don't know if I would like diamond painting as much. Um, I mean, sure, ooh, this one's like a nice removable label. Sure, diamond painting itself is fun, but you know, organizing your drills is also fun because I'm crazy. And I'm not alone <laughs> in my liking of the kidding down and kidding up process. Um, and, and for whatever reason, Having your spare storage all like nicely like done is also a thing a lot of us do is like do you know how many times I've kind of expanded, changed how I've done my spare storage? Um and right now I'm transferring to the thicker bags, at least for my rounds. I'm gonna just keep I'm just gonna do it for my rounds and if I feel like there is a massive benefit to doing it, I might start doing my squares but yeah i think i'll just do my rounds first and evaluate whether like i said i feel like there's a massive benefit or it makes no real difference to me and i'll just stick to using my other bags for my squares um yeah like i oh this one's a 436 so that's probably next um and maybe it will help like differentiate my my stuff a little bit more with it. Nope. I have two shades. Oh, this one has a lot of static in onto on the storage. Static, static. Wow, I have so much of this. Okay. You know what? You know what? I kinda wanna mix them all. Um, oh my goodness, static, like that just, I just moved it and it just like popped out of my tray. You know, I think, I wonder if it's this tray and I'm gonna stop using this tray for funsies and try using a different tray or it just might be all this plastic that is all around. Um, cause yeah, and it's static season. And I'm going to put some lotion on my hand. Maybe I'm generating the static. Um, I haven't been running my humidifier all day. Usually when I start recording, I actually like when I, I usually start recording, I do my, um, yeah, no, these, I'm mixing them. Um, when I start my recording, I do like my unboxings at first. I usually do a mass um, recording day. I'm actually not going to do a mass recording day. It's like, it's actually like right after my work today and I just felt like hitting down. So I was like, you know what, let's just kit down. So this is probably the only video I'm recording today. So, um, usually when I do the mass recordings, at least now, after I got my humidifier, I, I have that out during my unboxings. And then by the time I actually do with anything dealing with drills, like the kidding down or the kidding up, my humidifier would have been running for at least an hour. But I just turned on the humidifier um, a little bit before me starting this recording. So maybe I haven't like caught all my static yet. Or it's because I'm, ki I'm dealing with baggies and these things just have so much static. Yeah, see, those were like such a subtle difference. I, could, I can't even see the difference anymore. So I'm happy that I separated out those baggies. Um, 
combined all the bags and that's I'm, that's why that's why maybe I won't be so concerned with not being able to see through these thicker bags although I have heard that they can become cloudy over time um, but I already had the bags and I bought them when they're on sale so now now I'm testing them testing them because I know some people really like having the thicker bags um, so 500 but yeah, otherwise, all of the bags that we were using previously, I did not buy them. They just came with um, diamond paintings. So, and the more you diamond paint, eventually we'll collect enough drills to, I mean, enough baggies to put away your stuff. Or at least I did. Um, I, I did have, I do, they're usually the baggies are two different sizes. There's a smaller size and a bigger size. I prefer this bigger size. It's like a six by eight. Um, centimeter there's a smaller size it's a 5x7 and and for a while I was using the 5x7s because I didn't have enough of these 6x8s and then I got enough of the 6x8s um, although I started running out recently until um, a viewer Jeanette sent me some of her baggies so now I actually have a good supply of the bigger baggies um, and then I'll have an even bigger supply if I start changing out my rounds. Um, but I, diamond, I, I apparently diamond paint too much. <laughs> and, and plus, I, I mean, I'm, it's, it will almost be two years of me diamond painting. Um, this year, it'll be two years of me diamond painting. So in two years... I've done over 200 diamond paintings, and since I do a lot of the small ones, I feel like doing a lot of small ones instead of doing um, a, um, only a few big ones, I feel like I accumulate the drills faster that way because um, I guess when you have leftovers for stuff, um, you always kind of have leftovers for everything, and I feel like the leftovers... If we're doing several kits as opposed to the leftovers of just a couple kits, um, you just accumulate more. <laughs> Either that or, you know, I don't know. I just diamond paint too much. <laughs> and hence why I had to do a channel because I was like, you know what? I diamond paint so much anyway. Um, the worst that could happen is no one watches my channel. Um, yeah, no, those look different. I was pondering whether I should combine them, but I could see the difference in like first glance, so I'm not going to combine them. But you know, in the future, I could see myself being like, oh, these are exactly the same. <laughs> I guess it depends on how good my lighting is right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I can see the difference. Um, this one's darker. So, especially now that they're all going to be like in equal bags, maybe I'll be able to tell the difference a little bit better. Oh, this one, the tape did not come off that easily, oh, but it's not too bad. Eh. Okay. So, next one probably will be 5.35. Man, my, my box is getting full. My box is getting full. <laughs> yeah, I might have to go into a fourth box. <laughs> Five thirty-five. I don't want to go into a fourth. That does that actually matches really well. So I don't want to go into a fourth box. <laughs> I actually have space in where I put this. For one more box um so i guess i could go into a fourth box for rounds if i have to but i feel like i just i just added a box so i have to come up with i have to come up with a thing to do with my my leftover rounds i already i have um done a cross stitch pattern with my leftover squares and I actually have about, I have like a couple more cross stitch patterns that I had recently gotten. So I have, I have stuff to do with my leftover squares. Um, and I pondered to do it with my leftover rounds, but without 
the pattern printed onto the canvas, it would you would see the white underneath. So I guess I have to see about, I don't know, maybe if there are companies that would just print out the canvas or something. Like, I wonder if there'll be a point where that will happen, where um, they'll just sell the canvas without drills. Um, maybe it'll ship, save on shipping. I don't know. I feel like in diamond painting, the actual, like, ex most expensive part of diamond painting is not the actual drills, but I feel like it's the actual canvas, and then just... But, I could be wrong. So... Okay, let's pour this into there. I tend not to be as... Oh, I guess I am very pretty chatty today. I tend to not to talk about other things other than the kidding down during the kidding down because it's not as brainless as kidding up. <laughs> I feel like kidding up is a little bit more brainless, although I have messed up from um, because I just talk too much <laughs> during the kidding up process that I have messed up before kidding up. But I've been usually able to figure it out where I messed up. A little bit more things you have to look at during kitting down. You're one looking for... Yeah, now I can see the difference. Um, you're looking for the number. You're looking at... Well, at least not me, because I, I don't know how to only do a little bit. I do mass kitting downs. Um, mass kitting ups. <laughs> That actually looks pretty different, I think. Actually, I think I'm okay. I'm okay with it. It's like such a subtle difference that I'm like, no, I think I'm. I think it's different. Um, watch, I pour this into here, and I'll be like, no, it's a good enough match. I should just do what I said I was going to do, like not second guess it so much so that one, I don't take forever to do this kidding down. And if I feel like if I'm second guessing, then they are close enough. Um, but then I'm also, if I'm thinking if they're second guessing, there's a reason I'm second guessing whether to mix them or not. Um, but like I said, a lot of people don't bother to shade matching and we'll just pour them in here. And then, um, and then if you do need extra drills, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix them. If you do need extra drills, um, then you'll be able to just pick and choose from what you have. Um, just pour it into like a big tray, shake it, and then pick and choose. I just still can't do it for um, big differences in shade. Like this one was such a subtle difference that I'm happy enough to um, combine them. So. Oh, here's just, I forgot to switch out the sticker. 602. So, 603. Here. Oh, I have a couple bags for 603. And since I am really trying to lessen my amount of bags, um, I've been... Yeah, no, I could see the difference in these ones, um, but it matches this one here. I keep thinking, I'm only on my first box, I'm gonna have so many boxes to go for, too, but I, I forgot that my rounds are only three boxes, <laughs> only. Um, my squares are the ones that I have six boxes for, so, <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, but I can see the difference. Um, let's go and transfer these out. I'm gonna have so many bags left. Um, oh, I was gonna. I should see if this is removable and I can restick it. Nope. 
that's not going to re-stick well. Um, and let's get another bag. Yeah, I can see the difference. Yeah, see, this is darker than this, and that one is, like, not darker, but it's, like, a weird different shade than both of these. Yeah, so 603 apparently doesn't have good um, <laughs> reproducibility in... Nope, that, that label's not coming off. So I need two 603 labels. So this would this process would actually be much faster if I was not doing this bag transfer because I actually have bags for pretty much all my um, colors already. Um, it's just a matter of putting it in which bags. So, but since I'm doing this extra step, it is it is taking a little longer. And since I'm also doing uh, what was I doing five at a time, um, it's taking longer because of that too. But I feel like I save time by just doing several at once so then I don't have to take out my boxes multiple times. Um, and plus sometimes, you know, just in a week uh, or two, I could have a good amount to kit down because, you know, I just diamond paint too much. My mom and I diamond paint. Between my mom and I, we diamond paint too much. Now this one's actually 604 here. Yeah, no, that's a completely different color than both of these. So. Well, I hope I don't run in my 1,000 bags. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, like I said, I ha there's only 400, what, 50, um, 45 colors, so there is an extra almost like 100 or so for a thousand bags so unless I have a lot of colors that need multiple bags it should be fine and if I do need more than my 1000 guess what I have tons of other bags too um, so if I do run out of the thicker bags but I, I'll find out by the time I run out of them I'll find out if I think it's worth it to have them um I, I might i'll probably still keep my rounds in them but i'll find out if it's worth it to transfer my squares um because yeah six boxes so guess how many um spares i have in squares so and that's actually even with me um kidding up a whole bunch of them to do um my cross my cross stitch patterns so yeah <laughs> 605, I actually have this in two of these stone paintings here, so 605 is here, that's a lot of 605, and this one also has 605, and remarkably, these two match each other, but it doesn't match what I currently have in a bag. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't. So, am I on 605? Yeah, no, that says 605. So... I guess I'll have two bags for this. Yeah, no, they look different. But there's at least two diamond paintings that like this, and this looks like a good amount of drills, so there was at least two diamond paintings in that, too. So, so 605 there, and let's transfer into here. Have I even gotten to one of my? I've already kitted down once um, with trans um, while transferring into the thicker bags. I don't know. Have I even gotten to one that I had done in my last kitting up? I mean, my last kitting down. I don't know. So six oh five there, and I think the next one. Oh. I was gonna say 666, but which I have in several of them, but I, this one has a 647. And there's a 648, so I might as well take that out too. It's because it's next. A 647. Oh, I already do have this one in a baggie. 
um, in my thicker bag so I must have done that in my last kitting down and that's just you know because right after I said oh have I done any it actually this one matches what's in here so let's go I think it does those look different I actually I actually think it doesn't match any of them, so let me put this in a bag, see if I get a different opinion after it's in the bag. Um, <laughs> Cause, you know, I don't know. So I think it actually looks different, but I think this one, mat this one matches this one enough that I think I'm going to transfer it. Um, just so that I don't have, I'm not, I'm not going to have four bags because I don't want to have four bags. Yeah, no, that's a close enough that I'm happy enough with that. Um, even though now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh man, maybe it wasn't closer and close enough. But yeah, that's close enough. Um, and then that one's a different shade. And yeah, um, this one might be a lost cause. Why? No. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have been like, let's just mix them, mix them. They look close enough. Um, oh well. I'll get over it. Not too sad. But yeah. It doesn't look that it doesn't look that different. Now these ones look pretty different, so um yeah. No, oh, that no. <laughs> 647. I'll get over it. So why am I having a hard time peeling this from the paper? So, yeah, oh well, maybe I shouldn't have been so like, let's not put them into three bags. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to have to goo on these things. And this is why you get removable labels or you, I don't know, put masking tape, put your labels on masking tape. 648. Let's see, beaver gray. Okay. Three bags. Okay. And the whole scope of things, it doesn't match these. It doesn't really match this, but that's the closest one. And do I really want to have four bags? That is the question. I really want to have four bags. I'm gonna contemplate this while pouring this into here and then if I see that they're not that different then I will combine them. Because the last one I was already kind of like, no, I mixed them. You think I think I'm actually gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna mix them. This one is slightly darker, but I don't think I get this one enough for me to Yeah, actually now that I put it in there it's not it's not too bad of a difference. So there's that one and Let's pour this one into the thicker bag. And I'm actually really contemplating mixing these two. I can tell this one is darker than that one. Um, but yeah, no, it... See, this one's more of a beige, while this one is more gray. Yeah, it's more gray. And then I feel like this one is close enough that I'm just going to mix them. Because there's only so many shade variation bags you could make. Um, and as long as you're not doing a massive color block section, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that there are slightly different shades in there. But if they're too drastically different, um, you would. So yeah, so this is going to be my more gray and this is more my more beige colors. 
Um, but it's up to you. It's your drills, your leftover drills. Um, and once you mix them, there's no unmixing unless you really want to go through the effort of unmixing. <laughs> okay, so the next one, I think it's going to be the 666, which is in several of them. So I think this one is actually from here too. So. 666. This one has 666 also. And that's a good match. And here is that 666, which there's some. Some of this stuff got stuck to the sides because I think there's um, some wax on it, so I'm gonna not put that in. So yeah, this one. This one. I don't know. Is this. This one is a little darker than the other 666, so... Okay, so let's go pick up 666 and see what's up. So, 666, I actually have a good amount of it, and... I'm just gonna leave it in this bigger amount and this one does match this. I actually think this looks like 321, which I would not be surprised if my mom accidentally put the 321 into the wrong drill bag. Um yeah. So so let me go pick up 321 and just kind of confirm since it's in the same box. Um no, it actually does not look like So what other color is there next to 666? Uh, three, two, one. Which one did this come from? It came from uh, this one. Did it actually come from this one or I don't know. It's not, it's not 321. So I'm just actually, I don't know. I'll have to trust this really is 666. So it's a different shade. So I'm just going to, ah, I'm just going to put it in a different baggie then. That's okay, the other one was full anyway. I, and there's a couple other reds mixed in there, so, yeah, no, I think, I think my mom might have mixed two shades in here. Um... Oh well. What can be done? Nothing. Really. Wait, where did this come from? Oh, there's a spot there. I, I kind of, I don't know where it comes from. It could just have been a different one. So, are there any more 600s? So, this one actually only goes up to 720. So, 702 over here. That's an 819. So 702. My first box only goes up to 720s. So 702. Okay, I see multiple. Um, but I, I kind of want to mix these two. That one looks different, but I really kind of want to mix those two and these all match. Um, this one is just a tad bit darker. Just tad. Such a tad. That I yeah I think I'm gonna mix them. This one is um, substantially different I think. Um, so I think yeah like I said the more I diamond paint the more drills I have left over the less likely I am actually of separating out slight differences. Um, <laughs> yeah, now that I poured it in, it's I, it's very, very hard to see the difference. So I'm like, why did I do it in the first place? So, so there's that. And let's put this 
into another bag. So the less the less I'm going to switch over, the more that I've already done, right? Okay. I think then there'll be a point where most of them are done, and if they are, then I might just um, start just systematically going through the rest and switching them out. Um, it just depends on... I just didn't want to do like a whole process where the only thing I was doing was switching out the bags because that sounds boring. So I figure if I do it um, while I'm kidding down, it won't be so boring. <laughs> oh my goodness, I see four different shades. Um, let's hope this matches one of them. Um, it's that one. And I could totally see why I, I did not mix any. These two I might be very tempted to mix. Um, but yeah, no, I could, I could see it. I can see why I have different bags for them. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna put this one in there. It's, it's a slightly darker shade. But trying to limit myself to maybe three or four max different shade bags. So yeah, it's it's only slightly lighter um, than what was in there. So and, but I can see it now that I poured it in. These two are massively different, so they're gonna just go into a different bag here. So many bags. So, yeah, see, this is when, so this is why sometimes it's, cra like, kidding down does take longer, at least for me, because I do the shade matching, and this is also, I think, why a lot of people don't bother, because the times you actually need to go into these and pick them out, because A, you dropped your drills, which, <laughs> guess what my mom has done a couple times already, and... Um, and I think she has this like thing in her brain that I she knows I have all of these spares that if she does drop it she does not she's just like nope it's dirt it's dirty on the floor I'm not gonna bother picking them up so um, actually that's a very good mentality anyway because do you really like unless you're you're like at least um, like especially would you want to pick drills off of your carpet or something if you had like a hardwood floor and you just swept maybe it might be okay but now do you know how many drills are on my floor different colors um you know assuming i hadn't um just had the um swept through or had my vacuum go through you, you have you could end up having <laughs> a couple different colors in your on your floor and sometimes it's just like, I have tons extra, I'm just going to go into my drills. I actually don't drop my drills that often. Actually, yeah, I don't do it that often. Well, sometimes I will just accidentally hit my tray and do this. Well, not do that, but like that, and then it pulls off. But that's usually the worst that I do when I diamond paint. Um, so 740, is there anything before 740? Nope. So 740. This one is actually a much more, um, what do you call that? Less full, much, much less full one. Um, my box. Where's my marker? I was putting a marker in here and did I like <laughs> drop it in here? This is why um, it's been, oh, yep, I did drop it in there. Oop. Um, maybe that's why this one was getting full. Oop. <laughs> So what number am I on? 740. Okay. There you go. 740. Okay. 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 It actually matches this main one, I think. But the difference, the difference in the, these two are so minimal that I think I'm just going to mix them. Um, so... And I'm okay with that. So that one was actually pretty full, um, the bag. So I think even though 
It won't hold as much. It actually still holds a decent amount that it's about the same amount that hold is. Uh, yeah, I think I could probably put a little bit more into the my six by eight, but three two two by three. Is this this is the two by three bag in inches. This is six by eight centimeters. Um, because it's a little bit harder in the U.S. to find these. Because if I were able to find this um four mil bag in the six by eight, I probably would have bought six by eight centimeter. That's what I probably would have bought because that's what would fit in these containers here. So I just do what I can fit. Yeah, no, those are just a just shuttle difference in orange that I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, no, that's not coming off. <laughs> so 7.42 looks like my next one. And it was in my last um, round kitting down because I've already changed it to that. And that is that is much darker. Is it? I kind of feel like it doesn't match either. But if it does, it's very close to the middle of both of these. You know what? It's it's close enough. I'll just put it into here. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, the longer you diamond paint, the especially I don't know, the longer you diamond paint. Yeah, no, see that looks r close enough. And do I want to add this in there? I'm on the if it if if it's not so obvious the difference. I'm not. I think I've gotten to that point. I have so many extra drills that I just don't want to have so many bags for more subtle differences. So I think I'm going to mix these two. Yeah. Okay with that. 742. Yeah, that's not coming off. Oh no, that came off. Um, so seven seven forty five is next. Yellow light pale. Okay. Let me let me take off labels. Okay. Yep. Seven forty five. Okay, this looks like a white. Oh my goodness, Ma. I actually kind of feel like I want to throw this away. There's just so many... It's just such a mix of things that I kind of don't like it. Um, and it would give me a new bag. Ah, I don't like throwing away drills, but it's not that many. I'm going to throw it away. So, I'm not, I'm not kidding that up, down. Um, yeah, it was... You know what? I should, I should get my... I have actually a jar that I put my... Um, my trash drills in. I should I should make another jar and leave one in here. Um, so let me take off labels. Yeah, no, those ones were just too mixed with another color, and I think it's yeah that I was like, no, I'm not gonna keep this one. Um, and since I have these out, I might as well change the bag. Yeah, no, those are different. And yeah, I don't like throwing away ones. You know what? I think I'm going to pause and, and get my jar in case I need it. So this is actually my jar of trash drills. This is like all the trash drills I've just taken off of like every single diamond painting I've done. Um, I'm actually thinking I should just keep it in here and um, and then walk over here when I need to get rid of trash drills. Um, because I, I diamond paint in a different room. This is my office and, and recording room. So I don't actually diamond paint here. Um, I guess I could. This is a pretty big desk, <laughs> but usually this desk when I'm not recording just has like 
Um, sometimes I get too lazy to put my stuff away, so sometimes it just has all of the stuff that I recorded um, still on the desk until I'm like, okay, I feel like putting all away all these diamond paintings that I got, um, that I unboxed, or I, I do my mass kitting ups and then I just kind of leave all of them. Like usually in my kitting up video is the last video I record um, in a weekend and I just leave everything that I have kitted up on my table um, so that my mom could go look through which one she wants to do first or something. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, normally this table actually has a lot of stuff on it. Um, because yeah sometimes and i think that's half the reason i diamond paint and kit up the ones that i just got because that way i don't have to put it away um i mean i do i do have a pretty good system of how i put my stuff away but i don't know um you know how like there's certain things you like to do and not do as much <laughs> And I'm like, I like kidding up, but sometimes organizing my stash of diamond paintings is not as fun. Um, so, $7.96. Let's see, $7.96, royal blue. I can see why I have that as a separate color. And... I can see why I have it as a separate color, and it's not that one. It's actually this one um, here. And while I'm at it, there's that one. There. I'm actually thinking I might have to reprint my my labels because I don't think it likes this this thicker bag. It must be made made of something like a different type of plastic that my labels aren't my old labels aren't sticking on it well. Um, but I guess we will see how much uh, eventually I'll be like no it keeps coming off. Um, I'll see. So seven seven two is next here. Um, oh, I already went fast, 772, oops. Here's 772. Wow, that's a difference. Um, so, yellow green, I actually doesn't, I don't think I get this one that often. Yeah, no, that looks different. Um, so, like I said, while I'm at it, let's... Transfer it to the thicker bags. Yep, nope, they look different. And there. And let's do 772. So I think I could take this off of this there. Yeah, my sister's the one that actually kitted this up and how she kitted it up was this way. It's different than how I would kit up, but hey, that just shows differences in how how everyone does everything. Like these ones, I've, I've been contemplating because my... My other storage, I actually kit up from down and then go that way because I figure this is the one closer to me. But for whatever reason, these smaller ones, I always kit up from the top. Um, and, and I could change it, but then I feel like if I did, I'd get mixed up because I've just been doing it that way for a while. So, <laughs> you know how you kind of get a habit of doing stuff and then you change it and you're like, what am I doing? What are you doing? Um, so, 800 is Delft Blue. Not much left of this. And I think it's a good enough match that I will mix them. And transfer it to the thicker bag. Yeah, now there's some static on that thing. Let's... Yep. 
Yeah, I think I think baggies just have way more static. There. Okay, and 800 there. Uh, let's see, 814. Now this one has an 819, so I'll move that a little bit. Oh, this one has 819 also, but 814 goes first. No, that one, 814 is up here. So... Two bags, which I'm thinking, let's mix them. They're not too bad of a difference. So let's look at what this 814 is. Okay, this this looks much lighter than both of these. So um, I think this one will go into its own bag. I'm going to mix the other two um, together. Because um, I think they're a good enough, the other two bags are a good match with each other so they will go into their own bag here and that way I only have two okay that poured out pretty nicely going to add this yeah I was gonna add that one into here too yeah no that does look darker that one that I poured in is just a slight lighter color let's see can this remove nope Yeah, there. That one moved pretty well. And then we write another 814. There. Let's see. Next, 815. Oh, I must have had this in my last kidding down. I think it's a good enough match. So, yep. 815. And then I remember having a couple 819s. So, this one is an 819. This one is 819 also. They look a little bit different than each other and this one is 819 so this was this was a popular color at least in these dom paintings okay they all kind of look different but it's very subtle um yeah this this one is that one and i actually think They don't look like those two. This one looks like that, and that one looks different. No. <laughs> but I think that one, yeah, no. Um, so yeah, this one looks like, so apparently there's too many kinds of baby pink. Um, <laughs> but I think this one is the predominant one here. Um, this one, yeah, no, that one, it's close enough that I think I might just put it in here. It's, and then these other ones just look a little bit different. I might not even bother transferring those to the other bag. Yeah, no, that's a close enough. I'm happy with that. Um, and, but these two match pretty well. Um, and these ones, I have so little of them that I'm, and they don't, they're like drastically different than the other two that I think I might just leave those into there and transfer them in the future. It, hypothetically, you know, if I get more matches and the only reason I'm transferring this one is because apparently I've gotten at least twice. So 
This might be an 819 for some people. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, those they just look, and then those ones just look weirdly different, so. Okay, see, and apparently I got this, I had this in what, how many of the diamond paintings I just did here? Four of them? So, or no, it's three of them. So, apparently I get a lot. They just don't know how to manufacture it where it matches each other. Um, <laughs> most of the time. Okay. Oh, what is this color? It's just some random color that just got put here with no lettering. Ma. Why, Ma? Um, which one did this come from? So is there a 3865? This is totally 3865. Yeah, no, that's 3865. I think my mom just put it in a random place. Okay. I, I was, yeah. Okay. Um, 819, so I see an 820. So let's do that one next. Okay, I think I'm going to really have to goog on these containers. Why do I keep using my old labels? I should put them on um, masking tape. <laughs> 820 is a very dark blue. I actually think I get it a lot. Oh my goodness, why do I have... I'm going to start taking off some labels here first before I have to deal with um, <laughs> color matching. Oh, these labels were coming off really easy, so that's nice. I don't even know what I used to get that. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there just because it has so much and um, see if I can. So this looks lighter than what's currently in there. This is like a completely different shade. This, oh, that's a completely different shade. This one I think actually matches this one a little bit. Um, I kind of just don't want to have five different bags. Um, so I think I'm good enough with this one. And I'm actually thinking of mixing those two just because I think they're very close. Um, match or a closer match and I just don't want to have so many bags yeah no that's good enough this one's actually a pretty good match um, no that's not coming off so that's 820 that one's like just really different I'm just I think I might just leave that in that bag who knows if I'll ever get another one of that um, and then these two no that can see the difference so yeah, I think I'll just leave these in the original bag until I get more um, instead of transferring them because it was there's just too too many bags already. Um, any more 800? So this is 892. Here's an 890. Here's an 842. That comes first. Um, 842. Oh my goodness! I think I have three bags for this. So let's hope. I have a lot of this one. Oh, I see so much static. So you know what I'm going to do? See if I could pour it into here anyway, because I'm going to have to transfer something out. So, so I'm going to have to transfer something out, so I might as well pour it into here. I actually think it matches this one. So, assuming it pours well. Okay, there's a lot of static in this color. Um, So I, and this was in my birds picture that I showed the finish, the birds and the long, the long birds and flowers picture that I showed the completion of, I think next week, because I think I'm actually going to put this before my, my I still have one more special shape diamond painting, um, special shape diamond painting kitting down that I've already recorded, actually probably like two or three weeks ago. Um, and I think that's the last one I have. Or maybe I have two. I, I don't know. I didn't kit down last week in my time because <laughs> I already had a couple already um, in like made. So I ha I didn't kit down the last week. So you know what? I think I might just keep those in until I actually have to pour them out. Um, I think I'm getting to the point that I'm like, this video is long enough. I'm not going to keep transferring until I actually have something to 
to pour in to it. So I think the next one is 890, um, which I actually have a good chunk of. Oh, oh so I had, um, I have this big bag already. 890 is actually, I actually have a lot of 890. I know in my squares. Um, I think that's one of those ones I have multiple bags of. So I, yeah. So this is my bigger bag. So I'm not going to transfer it. This is my like slightly thicker, bigger bag. And I have so many 890 that I'm not going to transfer it to my, my new, my new bag. So it's just going to stay there. Um, but I think I'll, but my next one, if I need another one could go into my new bag. Ah, my tape is ripping. There. I'm pondering whether to even bother with the Goo Gone and just be like, I'll just put another sticker over it. You won't see it. <laughs> but then the, the, the things look kind of dirty. Oh man, what was this? There was more of the previous color and I don't know remember what it was anymore. So unless, I mean, I probably could figure it out if I go watch my video back, but that's not going to happen. So this other one, which I didn't notice was in the next container, um, we'll just go, whoop, we'll just go into my trash drills. There you go. Yes. Just because I don't know what it is. But like I said, I could figure out what it is if I go watch my video back. <laughs> um, but no. So, the hazards of doing too many at once. Okay, so nine, what am I on? 890, do I still have any? Oh, I have 891 here. 891, I actually have very little of, and I think it matches. So, so let's, Transfer this out. Okay. Eight ninety one there. And any more eight eight hundreds? This one is a nine oh two. Okay, so next one will be 900. I actually have a lot of this one. And I'm gonna transfer it to a bigger bag, not one of those. Um, I do have a couple bigger, not one of these ones. This one is a slightly bigger and wider bag. So, and I got this from a diamond painting um, that I got when I bought some Star Wars. A Star Wars Star War has probably one of the better, um, what do you call that, um, toolkits that come with a diamond painting. It's not a reason to buy from them um, because I have so many toolkits, but if they do have a pretty decent toolkit that comes with their diamond paintings. Um, so, and I mean, I don't think I've had a bad experience with Star Wars either, so their, their diamond paintings are a little bit on the pricier side, but I don't know if, I don't remember if they are a, one of the ones that legally licensed. I think they started, but not as far as, far as I know, I don't know. I should just stop talking because I don't remember enough. I have to like research. I, there's so many diamond painting companies now, I can't keep them all, um, I can't keep them all like in on like in my brain anymore wait is this one 898 did i miss 898 oops um oh well that's i was still only at 900 so um 898 is here oh my goodness i have so i had already moved it to this before but that's not the one that matches it's this one and I think I will just combine all of these. They're slightly different, but yet close enough that I don't want to separate them out anymore. So, so yeah, these are all good. But that one's darker. 
Coffee Brown, eight ninety-eight. And let's put this in there. And I apparently can't hold things up and open a bag at the same time. <laughs> one more because it matters because I, I don't have that many drills right <laughs> okay so there I have two bags this one is like a darker brown and this one is more of a lighter brown because but it seems like I kind of get both of them either that or I had a lot left over from one diamond painting sometimes that happens if it's like a because diamond painting companies give you that like 20 sometimes 30 percent um extra but yeah 20 or 30 percent extra of a lot is a lot left over and i'm not sure if i like the 20 or 30 percent thing i kind of wish they were more like let's give you 200 drills extra um because probably that's enough so 902 garnet so It does match, so this is the time to transfer it. Okay, I got. Okay. There's a lot in here. Let's see if it fits. So yeah, in my other baggies, I do have the piece of paper in there. It does help it stand up, but these ones don't need the piece of paper to stand up, so. And I think that's why a lot of diamond painters have switched over, at least a lot of the diamond painters who, who like to kit down have switched over to these thicker bags, um, just so that you don't have to put the piece of paper in there. So 902, so I see... Uh, this one has a 910. Uh, the next ones here is 921 and 931. So here's 904. Okay. So. So it does match this one. Oh, I already have a bag here. And I have so little in the next bag that I think I might just keep it in there um, until I actually get another match for it. And then I'll transfer it over. Or should I mix them? I can see the difference. Yeah, I can see the difference. 904. Okay. I see a 905, a 906, and a 907. Okay. So, 905. Here. Oh, this one is really sticking to the sides here. Okay. 905. Do I only have... Oh, I have two bags of 905. And they actually look so similar that I'm like, why did I... They look very similar that I might be tempted to mix them because I'm like, why did I separate them out in the first place? So... But yay, less bags! <laughs> and maybe their things are more matchy than I think. Okay, it's a little bit darker than what the other stuff I had, but it's not too much of a difference. So I think, I think, yeah, I can see it now, but oh well. It's too late. That's not coming off. So 905. I 
and this one has 906. Okay, so 906 is actually both of these. Oh wait, this has a 905 and 906 and 907, oops. Um, so let's, since we're at 906, I'm gonna do the 906 also here. And then we'll go back to 905. Um, so 906. Uh, okay. I can see the difference, but it doesn't seem So I think it matches what's in here, both of them. They both actually look pretty similar. I'm pondering whether to add that other one because it's a very subtle difference too. Uh, yeah, and no, I'll add it. it. It's a very subtle difference. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very subtle difference. Okay, so. Because too many shades. There's a point where you just have too many. Too many shades. Yeah, so let's just... Okay, so let's go back to 905 since I skipped this one. Which I have only one bag for. And I think I will mix that in there. Okay, that one was a little bit lighter. Oh well. Just a tiny bit. But it's too late. Okay. So there's two, both of these have 907. I, I'm probably going down that slippery slope where I'm gonna actually like start combining everything now. <laughs> but I feel like if it's subtle enough that I'm like second guessing whether to separate them out, it's close enough. So, I feel like these, these two match each other, but these are a lighter than what I currently have. So I think I might combine these two here. And yeah, it's just a slightly different, I could see it now that I put it in there. But it's like too late, and then I think, yeah, I can see it now. <laughs> oh well, and then I'm gonna put those into a different bag since they look a little bit lighter. Okay, I think I need to stop on my let's co let's go combine them all, okay, and just like separate them. No, see, they don't look that <laughs> they don't look that different. Um, but I think if you're like, I think if I'm on my second guessing there, there really aren't that different. It's like the other ones are so much more obvious that they are completely different colors that I feel like when you're, when that's happening, they really are just different colors. If I'm on the, like, I'm, I'm like on the, huh, do, are these matching? Are they not matching? Are they close enough? I feel like at, if you're already questioning that, then they're probably close enough. Um, and like I said, you can only have so many bags of different shades. Um, and, and it might give texture to your diamond painting if you have this slight different shades. Now, completely different shades. That's not going to give texture. That's going to be like, uh, I don't think this turned out well. <laughs> so this one has 951 here, just in case I miss it. So 907 is done here. And next one looks like it could be this 910. Emerald green. I actually have very little of this, and I think that's a good enough match. So, I must not get this one that often, or I just don't pick diamond paintings that have this color. 
which is surprising because it's such a beautiful color. Um, okay. Or the, the rendering software doesn't tend to pick this color. Um, I don't know. There must be reasons why I, some colors are just so predominant. I mean, black, it makes sense. Yeah, so let's see. 9.21 here. You don't technically have to do them in order, you just kind of have to do them, all of the ones that are in the current box. It matches that one. And I can see the difference. So, let's put that in there, and then let's... 9.21 is copper. Let's put this in there. And there, put that there, and since I have it out, I might as well put it in another baggie. So, so far I've only, I've still used less than 200 of my bags because I've I've only put out um, about 200 of my bags, the rest are still um, in the box, so I, I put out, I put them out here and then I made sure they're all facing the same way because these, these bags have like one of the front is a shorter lip than the other, so yeah, I figured I'm gonna put them in a container all facing the same direction, um, at least most of them they were all kind of facing the same direction anyway, so. 928 is... I must not have much of it. So 928. Yeah, that's a pretty good match there. Oh, this one must have... I've just been talking about putting them in the same... But this one must have been just been one of those ones that were on the wrong direction compared to the the rest of the stuff in the box. So I think this must have been my one of my very first colors because I do have my old way of doing the label, but I have so little of it so I must have not have gotten it again. Um, and I just kept my old label in case you know I needed it again um, because it seems to has happened. I do have more than one bag. So 9 at 31. Yep. So. There. There's that there. So 9 31. This one is 9 of 36 over here. It's nearby. This box only goes up to 970, so, oh, so I must have had this in my last kitting down, because that's the only it was only the last round kitting down that I started doing the thicker bags. So 936. Here's a 938. Actually have a lot of this one and it's in my one of my really thick bags oh that's a really different color ah. so let's just put it into here and I'll leave the other one into the bigger bag actually now that I poured it in here it doesn't seem that bad uh, <laughs> of a difference so I might just pour it in anyway this is like I have like some taller bags that came from something and I feel like if I already put it into this bag I'm just gonna leave it in that bag yeah no that's that's a pretty good match I don't know I think it was the shiny effect 
of the bag. It looks a little bit different, but it's not. So, 948's my next one. I actually have it in two diamond paintings. So, here, 948. I have, looks like 950 is in two diamond paintings, too. And in here. No! Okay, I, I opened that and there was so much static that... Okay, so I can see a slight difference in them, but it doesn't look that bad, so I'm going to mix them probably. Um, yeah, see, this one matches the what's in there, but they're so close that I'm just going to mix them. Um, Oh my gosh, there was so much static, I picked up the um, tray and it just like flew from my hand. <laughs> that, yeah, it just flew. Oh well, okay. Okay, it flew. Let me, let me just pour more in. Put that there. You just pick this up as if I need like all these drills. <laughs> um, but no drill left behind, right? And uh, that's like half the drills there. Um, and I can see the difference, but they're not that. It's very like minimal. So, so I go from probably barely having any of this to having a good amount. Um, it just takes two diamond paintings, apparently. Um, and this was the predominant color in my um, bird diamond painting, so one of the predominant colors because it's in this bigger, <laughs> it's this bigger container. Um, so 950 looks like it's in two diamond paintings here. So. They do look, they do look different. So, it matches th those two. This one actually looks pretty different. Um, so let's put that into there. That one's not the best, that's not a good, that's not a perfect match, but I think it's close enough. This one was a much better match. Yeah, see, it doesn't match that one. And that one doesn't match this one. They don't completely match, but I think it's a close enough um, that I'm going to mix them. Yeah, that's that's close enough. You could only have so many bags. <laughs> and I'll just leave that other one in the small bag until I maybe get more of it. So 951. Is it these two. And then So 9.51 is in here. I actually, I don't know why I have a bigger one. I'm guessing I had not, I just made a new bag for it for whatever reason. Okay, so it, it does not match what's currently in here. Um, so I'm going to just put it straight into thicker bag here, move this here, and then transfer this since I have it out. And it's actually a good amount. Yeah. There. 
Okay, next. What do I see? 961 here. Nine sixty one is Dusty Rose. It, it looks different. I might pour it in here and see if, if the bag makes it look more similar. And the bag actually does make it more similar looking. So I think if I I think they're probably not that different. <laughs> well, I started pouring it in, so too late. It's actually not that bad. It's so um, sure the ba the bag is a little is since it's thicker is clouding um, the it's a little bit clouding the color. But I feel like if if it's close enough with the clouded color, then they probably are pretty close in shade and like i said i'm trying not to have so many bags anymore of different shades okay so this one i could actually see the difference it's but i can see the difference but it doesn't seem too bad now i can still see the difference after i poured it into the bag so Yeah, the one good thing about having the thicker bags is I can't see the subtle differences so much. Yeah, no, I can I can see the difference in the two bags. So I must not get this one a lot. 963. Or I just don't do as many rounds. Although I think quantity-wise, I do more rounds. Maybe the rounds don't come with as many colors, so that's why I don't have, at least the rounds I do, tend to be more the budget diamond painting sites that uh, are the non-AliExpress diamond painting sites, because AliExpress, a lot of them, I use AliExpress mainly for square diamond paintings, because you, if, you, if you find a store that you like doing square diamond paintings from, they are pretty consistent in the square diamond paintings, and um, AliExpress also tends to have very confetti heavy diamond paintings. So if you don't like that, don't don't buy any of the like ones where you could choose a picture and then choose a size. Those ones tend to be very confetti heavy. Um because and then they tend to have a lot of colors. A lot more colors. Not necessarily a ton of colors, but a lot more colors. Um so oops these ones must have not gotten put into the right direction. Yeah, no, those. So, and then, so since most of my squares tend to be from AliExpress or, you know, one of the, um, you know, expensive, more expensive, um, but licensed diamond painting companies, I, that's where I tend to get my squares from. Um, I do have, I have, gotten some from my um unboxings from my pr packages but not too many mainly because squares can be frustrating if they're not um the best quality while rounds i feel like can get away with a little bit less quality um so you know what i'm mixing i'm mixing them all there's like I can't see the difference enough. So, yeah, squares have the um, squares tend to have a little bit more of the frustration um, on them just because when they're not good quality they do tend to be annoying to do sometimes <laughs> even though I still like doing them they they can be annoying to do um, and like I said since I get them from the more expensive ones or an AliExpress zone painting company 
they tend to have more colors. So I think that also might be why I have more squares. Um, and also I did get the 445 pack of diamond painting um, colors. So I think this is the last one in this box. Okay, so two hour mark and we're only on our third box. Um, <laughs> I think I've stopped caring how long my, um, my videos are now. Uh, so 992, Aquamarine. I stopped caring how long my videos are now. So um, once I stopped caring about how long my videos are, um, they've just gotten longer. And I think I might not have turned these in the right direction of which is, no, they look okay. So I think there's just some random couple ones that are just the wrong direction for my bags. Um, but yeah, no, after I stopped caring how long my videos are. Um, they've just gotten longer. I actually like sometimes when my video is too short, I'm like, what what can I add to this thing? Uh, my video is too short. Um, I can actually kind of see the subtle difference in the two that I put in there. Oh well, it's too late. Um, I should stop talking. Just stop talking so that I could actually concentrate on what I'm doing. Um, and that's why I usually am not chatty, but I don't know. Probably because this is not, this is the first and only video I'm recording today. Um, I have a little bit more talking in me. Um, sometimes my mass, my mass um, recording sessions do get kind of tiring talking in it. So 3021. I think it's close enough. I actually don't, yeah, see, I, I barely have that. I don't have, like a lot of my rounds, I don't have that many of. So that's why I'm not surprised when my mom dropped one of her colors and then she asked me for a replacement one, but she still had like a, a couple in there and I found one that was like an exact match of it practically. I was like, if they were, if they were like called the same DMC, I would have mixed them. So, so there are, some DMCs that are very, very similar to each other. So let's see. Um, I only have a couple left in there. So let's just take this out of the equation so that I have less things to look at. Um, because I feel like the more things I have to look at, the more I'm going to miss something. So, um,. there. Yeah, the more things I have to look at, the more things I'm going to miss. <laughs> so let's take out some containers. And let's put... Let's take that away. Oh, if I have some drills in there. So... So that we can take this container away. So I just have less containers to look at. Okay, so now it's still busy, but not too busy. Um, well, let's put that there because it's like a different diamond painting. So, okay, so let's do, this one is 30. Uh, these ones are different diamond paintings too. Okay, so 30, 64 seems to be the next one. Um, so let's see, 30, 64 is here. This looks completely different from what I have there, but these two look similar enough that I'm like, why in the world did I have them separated? I don't know. Like I said, I'm pondering my life choices. <laughs> I'm pondering how blind I am right now, or I'm pondering how blind I was before. Um, it's one of those. So, yeah, no, those look so the same that I'm like... Maybe I've gotten more blind. <laughs> I've gotten more... You know, those are like a way better match than some of the ones where I was like, oh no, these are the same. <laughs> Yeah, but these are different, so I'm those I'm not um, I'm not mixing. So what am I on? Thirty sixty four. Yeah, 
here. I actually, oop, I see a 3033 over there. These, these four digit ones are just so much harder to look at for whatever reason. Um, too many four digits are too many. Oh, I actually don't have this one. First time I'm getting this one. Woo. So. Mocha brown, very light. So the question is, will I be able to pour this in from my storage here? have any 30 30 somethings nope so I think next is the three threes okay so three three so this one is three three two five here and then I see some three threes in this one um, so three 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 two five I have two bags for them and they're both in my old kind of bags and I'm gonna see if I could take off these random other colors in here since they're actually pretty visibly a different color there so what am I on three three two five just making sure and I kind of don't think it matches any of them, but if it does match, that's the closest one. So I think let's go just transfer this into another bag here. And then if they do match, then I could always pour the other one in. Yeah, I think I think it's close enough that I'll actually pour it in. Yeah. Okay. And I'll just leave that there. It's so little amount that I'll just wait till I actually get more to transfer it. And any more three threes? This one is a three, three, five, four. Oh, then this one is a three, three, five, four also. They're actually a pretty good match for, to each other. So three, three, five, four. Dusty Rose. I actually have very little of it. And I actually think they all match. So yay. These are turned the these two are turned the other way. Okay. So So two diamond paintings I have of this and I probably only got that from one diamond painting. So Dusty Rose. I think I have pants this color. <laughs> oh. uh, take this out there. And three, three, six, four. I think that's the next one. Pine Green. I actually have two of them they're not in my thicker bag so I might as well just pour it straight in there and then color match to none of them because they don't look anything alike and for now I'll just leave them in in the baggies because I don't have much of them so who knows if I'll ever find another match <laughs> 
and yeah. So three, three, six, four. Okay, do I have any more three threes? Three, 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 three. Nope, those are three sevens. So I think the next is the three sixes. So this one has three six oh seven. That's still a three seven, and those are three sevens. Um, so three six oh seven. Okay, I have two of them, and it matches this one. And I'll just leave that other one in that bag because there's not much of it. And who knows if I even get I'll ever get that again. Um, that version of three six oh seven because it's very little amount. Okay. The sticker is sticking to me. Okay. 3609. Okay, I have three bags. I don't know why that one's empty. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what happened in the past. Why that one is empty. Because other, other, oh, I think, ooh, I wonder if this is the one that I, um, ran out of in something else and then I just poured the whole thing in there. I'm actually very tempted to just mix them all because it's the difference is not much. So well this one at least matches more and then yeah, I'll mix them. So. Yep, that looks that looks good enough. So three six oh nine. There. And do I have any more three sixes? Uh, that one's three six eight nine. Okay, three six eight nine here. And those other ones are still three sevens. Okay, three six eight nine. Wait, it's still over here. Mob. Okay, I think they do match enough, except if there is another color in there. Um, <laughs> I can see my mom accidentally putting in the wrong color when she was um, putting things back. Because she does put everything into trays all around her. So... I think when I kit up for my mom, I can't use these ones with the four connected, especially if she's going to keep doing her, her, um, let's put all the colors on trays. So then she would put the, like, she would put the empty tray, I mean the empty container on top of the tray. And when they're four like this, she might end up putting the color back into the wrong container. So... <laughs> Okay, so I think I got all the three sixes, so now we're on the three sevens, which I see a lot of. So, so let's see. The next one I see is three seven oh five. I only actually have one bag of this. I have two three seven oh fives here. Actually, they're a, they're all a very good match of each other. So yay. And there, melon, melon dark, so three seven oh five, and I see a three seven oh six. Oh, 
Oh, this is the first time I've gotten this one, so... I apparently don't get 3706. Or I don't pick diamond paintings that have 3706. There's some blues in there. <laughs> And now um, three seven two one looks like it's my next one. And I can see the difference. It matches this one here. Yep, I'm just going to leave that in there. 3, 7, 2, 1. Okay, let's see. These are 3, 8. Okay, so there you go. 3, 7, 5, 0 looks like it's the next one. Here is Antique Blue. Very dark. They actually are a pretty good match. Here. And there. And where's the sticker? There it is. Three, seven, five, zero. Nope, that sticker did not come off well. And then 3752. Yep, that's a pretty good match. So. There. Antique blue, very light. Okay, there. Okay, you can kind of see the difference, but oh well. Three, seven, five, two. Okay, so. Seven five five looks next. Now there's like some greens in here, and there's a purple. Okay, so those three seven five five is baby blue. It matches. That one the closest. It's not a perfect match. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave it in a separate bag for now. In the future, I might decide to combine them. But for now, I could see the difference. And I've done a little too many mixing today. <laughs> I could only tolerate doing it so many times before I'm like, ah, what am I doing? Combining too many. Okay, 3756. I actually get a lot of this one. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it in this bigger bag just because I have so many of it. So, 3756. 3772. This is all three sevens. That's 3776. Okay, so three seven. Yeah, that's close enough.
gray green. I guess it would it's kind of more like a gray turquoise or to me. Okay, three, seven, six, eight. Let's see, three, seven. Three, seven, seven, two is next. Here, and I could kind of see why I separated them out, but I really kind of want to mix them together. I kind of want to mix all of these together. So, I kind of don't want to mix <laughs> ah, decisions. Three, seven, seven, two. Perhaps when I move this to the thicker bag, it'll match more, and then I'll be like, okay, they're all getting mixed. Right now, I just didn't, I just didn't have, I just didn't feel it. I didn't feel the mixing. Okay. Okay. Nope, that's not coming off. Three, seven, seven, four. It's probably like the next number. No, there's just three, seven, seven, three, seven, three, seven, seven, four. I have a lot of this one. It looks like a different color than what's in my um, bag here. So I'm just going to pour this directly into the baggie, assuming it lets me. You know what? There's so much static in here that I'm thinking I should... I'm going to just breathe into it, close it, and... No, that's so that's actually a lot of static in there so my breathing was not enough so I'm actually gonna just get some of some what do you call that of my dryer sheet and put it in there because I just don't think this one's gonna pour out well at all because there's just so much static in there so if you do have static in your drills a dryer sheet can help it. Um, see, it's a lot less staticky now. Um, so I could pour it in there instead of doing the struggle. So I pour that in there and I don't like the match so it's gonna just stay separated. So, what number am I on? Three seven seven four. Okay, three seven seven four. There. And I'll transfer that other one another time. Okay, so I actually have 3776 in three of these diamond paintings. So here's 3776 in here. Oh, there's still like a drill in here, but that was from a previous color. Um, 3776, and this is continuation of 3776. Okay, let's take off here, here. Okay, I'm on 3776. I should get my baggie out before I completely forget what color I'm on. <laughs> okay, 3776. I hope I have like three bags of this one. Okay, so, hey, three bags. Maybe they'll all be different ones. No, I don't want them to be all different ones. Um, so, 3776 there, and here's another 3776. I think they actually all kind of match each other. Um, 
And if I were to say they matched any of these, it would be this one. So let's put this in. There's a random drill from a different color. And yeah, I think I'm gonna pour this in. And those other ones will just be in a different bag. So this must be the predominant color. And then those other ones I probably just got once and never had a match to it again. So 3776 is done here. Let's see. So I think that's the last 37. So now we're only left at the 3 8s and 5200 because that's... And then I have these specials in there, but I think I might just save that for when I go do specials. Um, so because I think I might get down a special maybe even later today or tomorrow. I don't know. I guess it depends what time it is when I'm done with this video. I'm like, okay, I think I'm good. I think it's already late. I'm gonna stop. Um, 3801. Oh, I actually have this one in three of them also. This is 3801. And this one is also 3801. Okay, so these two, these. Wow. I think they all look the same. And I think it does match this one enough. Like, there, I could see this one is slightly different, but th this one is like almost between with those two. Um, yeah, that one's lighter, but that one's a little bit darker, and then that one's a little bit darker than that one. So I think it's like. Close enough. Yeah, now that I poured it in there, it's not too bad. Um, <laughs> okay. So yeah, I poured that in there. It's actually a pretty decent match there. So happy with that. I actually ended up like moving my light closer because I have like I have a light like I don't know if you can see it I have like tape over it so that it doesn't um it's not too bright it's not I have like a cloth white cloth over it with tape just so that it's not too bright for the camera um <laughs> it looks very yeah And then I have actually like other um, filming lights up there too, just because I have, I was, it was just like my older videos was just a little too dark. So I just needed more light um, to, for recording. Okay, so 3818 looks like might be the next one. Emerald green. Okay, so I don't actually have much of this one. I think that's a good match. So. And I think this might be my longest video ever at this point. Um, maybe I shouldn't have kicked down five diamond paintings, especially with me deciding to transfer them into these bags, because that does just take that does take so much more time. So perhaps my next round, I'll only do like three. <laughs> three diamond paintings. So that at least it'll go on to like two hours maybe <laughs> instead of like, it looks like it's, yeah, this is going to be like Titanic long. I don't know. No, it's t no it's, I think Titanic was like three hours and a half, three and a half hours. Um, so maybe not Titanic long, whatever, whatever's like a two hour and I don't know, 40 minutes. I'm thinking I can't be more than 10 minutes left on this thing. 
I don't have that many colors. <laughs> Three, eight, one, nine. So those of you who like the extra, extra long videos, here's your extra, extra long video for today. <laughs> so let's see, three, eight, six, five, three, eight, five, three. Let's see, three, eight, four, one. Ooh, that comes first. Okay, three, eight, four, one. They kind of look different, but I don't know. I kind of want to... <laughs> I'm going to pour it in the bag and see how I feel after I pour it into the bag. Yeah, no, I think they look different. Three, eight, four, one. And I think if I wasn't already past two hours, I'd be like, let's go transfer this into a bag. And now I'm like, eh, I'll just transfer it when I actually get another dr um, diamond painting drill that actually matches that one. <laughs> Okay, so on the home homish stretch. Okay. The labels are I think the labels were fighting me today too. So Okay, so 3856 Okay, I think this is the completely wrong color. And I could totally see my mom putting this in the wrong color because this is totally not 3865. That is way too not white. Um. <laughs> oh well. Or maybe I go to 3865 and I actually got that color. I might, yeah. It just, I'm just saying 3865 is white and that is not white. Oh man, I forgot what color this was. Because I ripped off the label. Why am I doing this? I think it was like three, eight, five, five, or five, six. So let's go look at three, eight, five, five. Maybe not. Let's look at three, eight, five, six. It's, it's three, eight, five, six. I don't know. See, now I don't, yeah. I think I'll just toss it, because now I don't remember what color this is. This is this is the hazards of being two hours into a video, and now I'm like, now I'm going to have to throw this, and I don't like to. I don't like to do it, but I don't remember what color, number this is anymore. Oh, well. Okay, so now, because I kept talking. Why do I keep talking? Just Because this is why I said I don't normally talk during these videos. But I guess I'm feeling particularly chatty today. Okay, 3863. <laughs> okay. And then now, you know, in the future, I'm going to get whatever that color was. And then I'm not going to have any more left because I threw it away. So I don't think it matches any of these. I must not get this. This is like, they're such completely different colors. Um, but I think if I were going to match it, it would be to this, this one here. So I think, I think I will mix these two. Those two are just like really different. They're like really different from each other. And I am questioning if I'm ever going to get those colors again. Yeah, no, so those are, those are a good enough match. Um, but yeah, no, see, that's why I can't, I can't talk while doing these. I do things like that where I, I take off the label without taking out the, the thing there so that I don't know what color it is. And then I could figure out what color it is if I stopped and watched my video, but I can't really stop and watch the video while I'm recording. And I don't know if I... It's like I have so many extra drills that I'm just like, eh. So, yeah. 3864. Wow, I have four different colors of it. Yeah, I'm really pondering if that's really 3865. That doesn't look like 3865 at all. Um, <laughs> and I can totally see my mom just pouring it into the wrong... This one, that not just that one. These look different. But these, no. I, if, I, if I were... No, that doesn't look like... This one, kind of like that. So I think I'm going to mix these two together 
put my light more on there. Yep, that looks okay. And then I will probably regret it like in five seconds or not because I have so many drills. So let's do some combining here. And yep, I was gonna combine this in there too because I could only have so many baggies for one color. And that's actually a pretty decent enough. It's a tiny bit lighter, but it's decent enough. Okay, that's not coming off. And three, eight, six, four is done. So now I'm 100% sure that that does, totally does not look like 3865, but you know, I could go to my 3865 and find it there. Um, so yeah, 3865 is this like white color and that is totally not 3865. And I have gotten so much 3865 that I am not even questioning my 3865. So I'm tossing this because I'm that's like I'm never gonna get 3865 like that. Um, so I could totally see <laughs> my mom had put it in the wrong place. There was one that I was questioning whether it was that color because it totally looked like white, and I or yeah. And then I had put it into this one, so now I'm pondering whatever that number was um, that my mom had mixed them up. And I don't know what color that is, so I'm not I'm not gonna go back and ponder, you know. So 5200 and 3865 do look very similar. Um, 3865 is more of a creamy soft white, while 5200 is more of a bright white and sometimes i if i if i think that one looks more like the other and since they're right next to each other on on the um kidding like on the in my leftover spares i will just put it into one over the other um because that way i at least i have more of a um my white is more taken care of, <laughs> if does that make sense. Okay, so I have finished all of these. I will kit those down when I do my next um, special shaped um, and rhinestone kitting down because that I have to take out a whole other container system. Um, and I do actually have to kit down some specials because I think I probably have like eight already. Um, so that is all for today. I'm going to goog on this. I have a whole bunch of baggies that I need to ponder what to do with. And so that is all for today. So thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.